If you look at low tide, you can see pilings back here that are the remnants of the first bridge that went from Portsmouth, New Hampshire to Kittery, Maine. It was known as the Dime Bridge because of the tolls. And it lasted from 1842 until 1939, almost 100 years. I'm Dean Rikerson, I'm a preservation architect and I'm the state representative from Kittery, Maine. And I love history. I think that you can't really know where you're going until you find out where you've been. In the 1890s, the railroads were expanded in this most southern part of the state of Maine. And after crossing the old wooden bridge, you arrived at Kittery Junction, where the tracks split. And you can go to northern New Hampshire on the White Mountain Express, or continue along coastal Maine to York and beyond. There were also ferries if you're taking the trolley from Portsmouth to Kittery, and another shorter bridge was built in 1923, the Memorial Bridge in memory of those who gave their lives in World War I. After the new bridge was complete, automobiles were forbidden on the Dime Bridge and only trains crossed the span. And September 10th, 1939 was the last crossing of this bridge when it collapsed under the weight of a locomotive, which still sits at the bottom of the Piscataqua River. A new steel lift bridge was completed the next year and later named for Sarah Mildred Long, a director of the Interstate Bridge Authority. But we locals usually refer to it as the middle bridge between the newest highway bridge and the recently rebuilt Memorial Bridge. Now, unfortunately due to lack of periodic maintenance, this bridge needs a total replacement. And I've been involved in citizen design of the new bridge and also on a federal grant to maintain the railroad access on the new bridge. The new bridge design is innovative and goes more directly across leaving a wider span for shipping. So what can we learn from the history of the bridges in this location? Obviously the first one is maintenance. All of our public infrastructure needs to be maintained. If we had maintained this rusty bridge it would have lasted a lot longer. If we maintained the wooden bridge before it we could have saved a few lives and a railroad locomotive. Saving public money by deferring maintenance does not fix any problem, does not save money. It just kicks the problem down the road. We need to envision projects that are innovative and adaptable for the future. This bridge will be here for 100 years or more. This location has seen horses and hybrids and who knows what else we're gonna see on it in the future.